Liberty Global is a multinational telecommunications company with headquarters in London, Amsterdam and Denver. It was formed in 2005 by the merger of the international arm of Liberty Media in turn a spin-off of TCI, an American cable television group and UGC United Globalcom. Liberty Global is the largest broadband internet service provider outside the U.S. Liberty Global had an annual revenue of $15 billion in 2017, with operations in 10 countries and 26,700 employees by 2017. Its cable services pass 44.3 million homes, with 21 million customers or 44.5 million RGUs video, internet, and voice subscribers. In 2016, Liberty Global was ranked 88th on the Forbes World's Most Innovative Companies list. Liberty Global is in turn, a spin-off and an international version of TCI. Topic History Liberty Global Inc. was founded in 2005 when Liberty Media International, Inc. LMI and United Globalcom, Inc. UGC merged. LMI and UGC became subsidiaries of Liberty Global. The new entity had operations in 18 countries and networks over approximately 23 million homes, making it one of the largest broadband services companies in the world. Liberty acquired German company Unity Media in November 2009 for $5.2 billion. Unity Media was Liberty's first German acquisition and the largest private equity exit in Europe in 2009. In 2010, Liberty sold its stake in Jupiter Telecommunications, a Japanese telecommunications services provider as Liberty shifted its resources back toward Europe. In January 2013, Liberty Global raised its stake in Belgium-based Telenet from 50.2% to 58%. In June 2013, Liberty Global acquired British cable group Virgin Media for $24 billion in cash and stock. The agreement expanded Liberty into Europe's largest cable market. The acquisition was ranked as one of the ten largest cable deals of all time. Liberty agreed on October 28 to sell Cello Media for $1.035 billion except for its Benelux unit to AMC Networks. It was reported that this acquisition would make Liberty Global the largest broadband company in the world. Liberty Global announced it would be acquiring Dutch cable company Ziggo for €10 billion Euros in January 2014. The acquisition was completed in November 2014, when the services of UPC Nederland began to be merged into the new business. Liberty Global and Discovery Communications became joint owners of all three media in May 2014 in a £500 million joint deal. In July 2014, Liberty Global acquired a 6.4% stake in ITV plc, valued at £481 million. Liberty's stake in the company increased to 9.9% in July 2015. In November 2015, Liberty Global announced its acquisition of cable and wireless communications. The $5.3 billion deal expanded Liberty Global's presence into the Caribbean and Greater Latin America. The acquisition was completed in May 2016. In 2015, Liberty established the stock Liberty Latin American and Caribbean LILAC, focusing on Panama and the Caribbean with assets in Chile and Puerto Rico. The company also owned a 49% stake in majority state-owned Trinidadian Telco TSTT, which it was eventually obliged to dispose of as the company itself competes with Liberty's wholly owned Trinidadian subsidiary, Flo Trinidad. Liberty Global and Discovery Communications paid approximately $195 million for a 3.4% stake in Lionsgate Entertainment Group in November 2015. Liberty CEO Mike Fries joined the Lionsgate Board of Directors as part of the acquisition. Liberty invested £7.5 million in global broadband cable network Technetix in July 2016. In November 2016, Liberty Global's Virgin Media subsidiary released its Netflix and other app-enabled set-top V6 box. At the end of 2017, Liberty Global announced the decision to sell its operations in Austria, UPC Austria, the country's largest cable operator, to T-Mobile Austria for 1.9 billion euros. In January 2018, Liberty Latin America spun off from Liberty Global. 
The new publicly traded company, Liberty Latin America Limited, operates independently throughout parts of the Caribbean and South America. In May 2018, Liberty Global announced the sale of its operations in Germany, Hungary, Romania, and the Czech Republic to Vodafone for 19 billion euros, 22.7 billion dollars. Topic: Merger with Vodafone in the Netherlands. In June 2015, Vodafone confirmed talks with Liberty Global focused on potential partnerships, but denied that a full merger was in the works. Liberty Global invested in Guavis, a data analytics company, in September 2015. In February 2016, it was announced that Vodafone and Liberty Global would merge Dutch operations. Liberty's Dutch subsidiary, Ziggo, would work with Vodafone's mobile network. Vodafone paid Liberty 1 billion euros as part of the joint venture valued at 3.5 billion euros. The deal was approved by the European Commission in August 2016. On December 31, 2016, the proposed merger of Liberty Globals and Vodafone Group's Dutch operations was completed, resulting in a joint venture called Vodafone Zigo Group Holding BV. Topic. Innovations and investments In 2013-2016, Liberty Global invested €14.5 billion Euros in infrastructure, including investments to bring high-speed Internet to 4 million more European households through new build and upgrades. These upgrades are reported to have generated €7 billion Euros worth of social benefits for local economies. In October 2017, Liberty Global opened the Telenet Innovation Centre in Brussels, its second innovation hub alongside the Tech Campus near Amsterdam. The Innovation Centre is focused on testing Internet of Things IoT solutions and mobile technologies, including the introduction and preparation of 5G networks. Topic. Content Liberty Global offers Netflix in several countries and other video on demand platforms as Maxdome in Germany, Play and Play More in Belgium, and MyPrime in Poland, Czech Republic, Slovakia, Ireland, Switzerland, Hungary, and the Netherlands. In 2017, Liberty Global partnered with affiliate Lionsgate and subsidiary premium channel Stars on a television series, The Rook. The upcoming show is based on Stephanie Meyer's novel of the same name. In February 2018, Liberty Global announced a partnership with Amazon Prime Video on the television series called The Feed, premiering in 2019. The show will be co produced in partnership with Amazon Studios and launched as an on demand program in Europe, Latin, and North America. Topic. Horizon TV Horizon TV is Liberty Global's flagship platform with more than 10 million first-generation Horizon TV devices sold. Liberty Global launched Horizon TV, a box to stream to televisions, in 2012. H2, an upgraded version of the Horizon box, was launched in 2013. The new system included an upgraded remote control with a QWERTY keyboard. A secondary box connects wirelessly to the main device allowing TV, DVR and VOD streaming to multiple rooms in a subscriber's house. Liberty partnered with Active Video in 2013 to include Active Video's Cloud TV on the Horizon boxes. Twitter was integrated into Horizon's mobile app library in 2016. The addition allowed live tweets to be overlaid onto the screen of a program being broadcast. Also in 2016, Horizon TV was launched in Austria, making it available in all three German speaking countries where Liberty Global operates. In September 2018, Liberty Global announced the next generation video platform Horizon 4. Topic: <laughs> Operations. Liberty Global operates through the following subsidiaries. Topic Markets Topic Americas 
Part of Liberty Global is separately listed as LILAC Liberty Latin America and Caribbean Group, operating in over 20 countries under the consumer brands VTR, Flow, Liberty, Moss Mobile and BTC, as well as having a sub-sea fiber network. In January 2018, Liberty Latin America spun off the main company and began operating independently from Liberty Global. Liberty Global's operations in the Americas consists of Liberty Puerto Rico, a provider of pay TV, internet, and telephone services in Puerto Rico, and VTR, a Chilean cable provider of television, telephone, mobile, and internet services. Through the acquisition of cable and wireless communications, Liberty Global has become the owner of the largest pay TV and broadband provider in the Caribbean. In addition, the company also owns CWC's operations in the Seychelles named Cable and Wireless Seychelles. <laughs> Europe Liberty Global serves 10 countries in Europe, and is among the largest cable operators in Belgium, the Czech Republic, Hungary, Romania, Ireland, Germany, the Netherlands, Poland, Slovakia, Switzerland and the United Kingdom. <laughs> 